Namaskar. Many times people experience different visual, audio phenomena in meditations. They see beautiful colors. Uh, sometimes it is very scattered, just like blickering and uh, not very organized. But sometimes beautiful colors, beautiful, beautiful, very nice visions are there. And also sounds are there. So what to do with those phenomena? Should you catch those phenomena? Should you focus on them? Because it came to you and many people are seeking for that kind of experiences. They feel like, oh, wow, finally something interesting is happening in my meditation. Otherwise, I'm just sitting there and what am I doing? Uh, now, finally, something interesting, fantastic is happening. What should we do with this phenomena? First of all, these visions, you have to understand, they come because of the, it's just like a dust of the mind. Uh, have you, in the old style, now we have the vacuum cleaners and all these different vacuum cleaner robots that they are cleaning our space without even us noticing. <laughs> but uh, old style, you take the carpet, you put it somewhere on some plank, and then how you clean the carpet? By hitting it with a stick. Bah! Bah! <laughs> and then the carpet looks, apparently it is clean, but when you start to heat, a lot of dust will come out of that carpet. So, your mind, apparently it is clean. But when you start to hit it with the vibration of the mantra, when you start to withdraw the mind from the external world, that's what is happening actually. People doing the, the dark retreats. There is one type of practice that you go to the cave and in complete darkness you sit for one day, for one week, and in that complete darkness, because there is no perception, the eyes are not perceiving, the ears are not perceiving, so in that complete darkness, the content of the mind becomes actualized, and the person, the person starts to see visions and different things. But you have to understand, it's just like a dust of the mind. You are cleaning out, you are cleaning the, uh, you are beating the carpet <laughs> with the vibration of the mantra and also you are withdrawing the mind, you are, you are suspending the activities of the organs, the eyes are closed, the ears are also not uh, advised to perceive things, you are, you are focusing inside, your legs are locked, your hands are locked, so you are in a retreat actually, you have retreated, you have suspended the activities of the organs, so now the mind becomes active. So all the content of your unconscious mind start to appear in the subconscious level. And that's why you have visions. And that's why you have sounds and so many things. Actually, many times people don't notice because they are not sufficiently calm. But when you become sufficiently calm, you will see that the mind is a big field of sounds and images and it's just vibrating like this and to calm down that mind to pacify that mind to to catch the control to to catch hold of that mind is an extremely difficult task because there are many distortions in the mind from the past every action creates a certain wave in the mind we call that karma or better to say samskara so, perceptions and actions, the, the, the after effects of perceptions and, and actions of the past, vibrating in the mind. And normally they are vibrating at the deeper level, not noticeable. But when you meditate from, from deep inside, they are coming on the surface. In this way, many paradigms get shifted your perceptions you know like for example there is maybe there is some trauma and due to some trauma you don't like a certain kind of people you don't know why because it's unconscious so but now as you meditate it will come on the top 
and it will dissolve. So all those images and sounds, they are part of the purifications of the mind. There is nothing special in that. It's just like a dust of the mind. Don't go for the dust. Ignore those things. Just like birds flying in the sky, let them fly. <laughs> you acknowledge the bird is flying. Okay, no problem. Let it fly. <laughs> you're not, oh, bird, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and then you are uh, taking the airplane and you are pursuing that bird. No. The bird is flying, let it fly. So remain calm. Continue your process of the practice. Continue the process of the practice. It's just like an experience. Even the, a little bit, even the spiritual experiences. There are some nice experiences also in meditation. And they may be part karmic, means the contents of the mind are emptying. The mind is purifying itself. They may be even spiritual. They may be even beginning of the spiritual experience and realization. What should you do with those experiences? Stay with the practice. It's just like you're moving. Let's say you're taking the train from uh, Paris to Berlin, for example. You take the train or anywhere else. And then at some station you come out because there is a nice ice cream on the platform. Somebody is selling, the vendors are selling the ice cream. And you, oh, uh, let's go check the ice cream. Oh, nice juice there. Oh, there is some book uh, shop. <laughs> and then you turn back, the train is gone. So similar is with experiences in meditation. Oh, nice experience, but the train is gone. Your meditation is gone. You're not anymore meditating. Your progress has stopped. And that is very sad because you have wasted an opportunity. Rather, when these experiences happen, you should catch the practice. Go with the practice. Catch the mantra. Go more deep with the practice. Don't get distracted. Go deeper. If something is happening, means it means you need to stay with the practice. It is good. You are making progress. Don't get yourself, don't allow yourself to be distracted with something fleeting and superficial. Either it is the dust of the mind or some limited spiritual experience. You need to go for bigger, for bigger, uh, higher altitude. Go higher. So that's my advice. Just let it go. Let it pass like a bird in the sky. Okay, good. I will think about it later. <laughs> you tell yourself, oh, beautiful thought, beautiful experience. I will think about it later. Now I'm meditating. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm not registering those things. Go with the formless. Go with the subtle most. Go with, yeah, with the process of meditation. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Bye.